In this video, I'll show you how you can create a countdown timer to display during a Microsoft Teams meeting to keep the meeting agenda on track. As a project manager, I facilitate a lot of meetings during the week. I do my best to prepare the agenda and assign time to each topic in the meeting, but very often, especially when there is good engagement on a topic, we tend to go over the allotted time. This means that the agenda topics at the end don't usually get covered. So I tried several different methods in an attempt to fix this. I would remind people at the beginning of the meeting that we have a lot to cover, so we should try to move through the topics efficiently. I would sometimes interrupt during a lively discussion to remind the team that we're over time, or even write it on the chat. But it's sometimes awkward to do it this way. So I came up with the idea to use a visual cue to flash on the screen to remind the team to wrap up the topic. Now there are several ways to do this. I'm going to focus on two approach that you can take. The first approach involves creating a timer in Google Slides, then projecting the video in Teams using OBS. Both are free applications. I won't go through how you install these applications as they're straightforward and there are plenty of tutorials on these already. The first thing we need is a Chrome extension called Slides Timer. And yes, we'll need to use a Google Chrome browser. Search Google for Chrome extension. From the Chrome Web Store, choose Extensions. Then search the store for Slides Timer. Then select the first choice offered by claycodes.org. Click Add to Chrome and Confirm. And click Add Extension to Confirm. We're done with this step. As a second step, let's open Google Slides and start a blank slide. We can name it whatever we choose. We can copy the agenda onto this blank sheet and format it how we like. And where we want the countdown to show up, add a text box and enter the simple code. The five indicates the number of minutes. We can substitute this for any other time. I think giving people five minutes to wind down is appropriate. Let's go to view present to see if this works. By the way, the slides timer extension that we installed is making this work by activating the code. This won't work without it. We can format the countdown to make it look nice and big. Try to put the content towards the center. When this is displayed in Teams later, it may appear in film mode rather than fit mode, so some of the info on the margins might get cut off. Okay, so the second step is done. Now we can record the slideshow presentation with the countdown as a video file. We can use the Xbox game bar that's included in Windows 10 to record the screen. You can either search for it or use the shortcut key Windows G. Before we start recording, we need to put the slide in presentation mode so that the code activates and the countdown starts. Since we'll lose a few seconds in the countdown to set this up, uh, we can add a few seconds to the timer. Let's add 5 seconds. Once we're done, we can find the recording in the video capture folder. Let's hit play and see how it looks. I'm making this video file available for download in the description below if you're not interested in customizing the look. If you do decide to download the file, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe. Now how do we get this video to display in Teams? You might be thinking we can simply share our screen, but you'd be wrong. If someone else is presenting, we don't want to take over their screen share and end their presentation. We want to be a little more subtle. So what we want to do instead is to use our video grid to display the agenda and the timer. 
This is where OBS comes in and I'll need to switch over to my Mac for this part. I don't have OBS installed on my PC, so I'll show it to you on my Mac, but the process should be virtually identical. After you've installed OBS, open it up. When we first launch, we should only have one scene. Select it, then hit the plus sign in Sources. Select Windows Capture. In Create New, we can name the capture or just leave the default. Hit OK and select the window we want to capture from the drop down. All active windows should be listed. We want to select the video file that we recorded. If it doesn't show on the list, make sure you have the video file open in a media player. We may need to scale and resize the window to make it fit in the canvas. Now that OBS is displaying the correct window, we can select Start Virtual Camera. This will make our computer think that there's another webcam attached. As a final step, let's open up Teams. Click on the profile picture and go to Settings. Then Devices. Scroll down to the camera and hit the drop down arrow. We should see an option for OBS Virtual Camera. Let's select it. The preview will show the window flipped horizontally, but other people will see the window correctly. Let's put the camera back to our default webcam for now. Join our meeting as we would normally. When we're ready to show the 5 minute timer, we need to switch our camera from our default webcam to the OBS virtual camera by going back to the device setting. Now go to the media player and play the video. Now that the timer is counting down, we can return to the participants list, right click on our name, and select Spotlight Me. This will make our webcam feed show prominently on the display grid. Right now, all participants are seeing the presentation that the user APARC3 is screen sharing. But as soon as I hit Spotlight Me, the center display will change to show my countdown. The size and position depends on the number of participants on the call, but the focus will definitely be on our countdown screen. Obviously, we don't want to keep this on the screen for the whole 5 minutes, so we can uncheck Spotlight on me after a few seconds. Hopefully we would have gotten some sort of an acknowledgement from the presenter. And if we want to be super annoying, we can spotlight our video again as it approaches the one minute mark. And we can do this for every section or topic on the agenda. I'm hoping that by monitoring the time and holding presenters responsible, people will be more conscious about time and manage it more efficiently with each meeting. Now for those who don't want to install and use OBS, there is a simpler solution but that requires a capture card like a cam link and a second device to serve as a media server. Uh, this could be another PC, an iPad, or even an iPhone. Basically any device um, that can play the video file that we created and can output via HDMI. I'll demonstrate using a cam link capture card and an iPad. I already saved the video file to the iPad and so on my iPad I do need a lightning to HDMI adapter so that I can feed it to the CamLink video capture card. Once connected, this will now show up as an additional webcam in Teams. Let's open up Teams, same as before, click on our profile, go to settings, then devices. This time, rather than OBS Virtual Camera, we can select CamLink. Now anything that we display on the iPad will be displayed on our team's video feed. So same as before, we can play the media file, but now from our iPad, and select Spotlight Me from the team's participant's side panel. There is a lot we can do here to customize the experience. Instead of using pre-recorded video file, we can present the Google Slide screen directly. This way, we can change the content design and the formatting on the fly, including the countdown timer. We can also change the background to green and chroma key this out in OBS to mask out the background and overlay the timer on a regular video feed. 
but these are outside the scope of today's video. So I hope you found this video interesting. I know this is a lot to do for a simple time reminder, but once you set this up once, you can very easily activate it whenever you need it. Let me know in the comments if you think you'll use something like this. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks and bye for now.